Today, we're going to look at how to use the PIC Collage app on the iPad. The first thing you're going to want to do is find the PIC Collage app. If you swipe down from the middle of your iPad screen, you can bring up a search bar. Search for PIC Collage. You might not have it installed on your iPad. If that's the case, you'll see it say self-service. So you will click where it says self-service and then click install. Now this may take a while, so you might want to do this well before you actually have to use the app. Once you have it downloaded, it will, you'll be able to find it on your home screen. If you can't find it, again, you can swipe down from the middle, search for pick collage, and select it. When you open it up, you'll see there are a few different options. You can start with a grid, you can do a freestyle, or a template. I like to start with freestyle because that gives me a blank canvas. You'll notice at the bottom there is a toolbar. I like to start with the background. So there are many features on the background that you can choose from. You can choose different colors. You can choose different backgrounds. You'll see there are many to choose from on the bottom, but most of them are locked. So choose from like the first two uh, boxes there, colors and patterns. Next up on the toolbar is photos. This opens up your photo gallery from the iPad. So if you have pictures that you have taken, this is where you'll find them. You can also take screenshots of documents uh, that you have worked on and put them into your photo album and then you can click as many as you'd like to select. So I'm going to select these three for example. They open up on my pic collage. I can move them around. I can resize them. I can tilt them wherever I want and whichever way, size, shape, and form that I would like. Next we have stickers. Now when you open this up you want to make sure you are on the first uh, pick collage starter kit because these are the ones that are free. Now you'll notice there aren't too many that are free but there's enough to make things interesting. So if you take a look you see which one you want. Maybe I want to add some stars. I can click the check mark up at the top and again with the pictures I can resize, I can tilt them, I can make them move wherever I'd like them to go. Next up on our toolbar, we have text. So if I click on that, I can add text directly to the pick collage, whatever I'd like to write. So I would type in what I would like to say. And then if you look over on the right hand side, you'll see there are a few things I can change. I can change the font by clicking on that T. There are a bunch of fonts that are available free in Pic Collage, so scroll through. Again, if you start scrolling too far, you might see the ones that have the little crown on them. Those are for VIPs, which cost money, so don't worry about those. But if you scroll through, there are plenty of interesting looking ones. You can also, on that toolbar, change the color of the words or you can change the color of the background of the words. So if you look on the bottom or all the way to the left, there's two different uh, letter A's. The one on the bottom changes the background, which is what I'm doing here. And the one on the top changes the color of the font itself. Now, if you click the three little dots on the toolbar there, you can change the alignment. You can make the words stay to the left, to the middle, or to the right of that box. You can give it an outline. You can change the size and the width here. When you're done playing around with that, you can click the check mark it, check mark, and then you can, just like with the pictures, you can move the words around. You can resize them this way. You can tilt them, put them wherever you would like. Next up on our toolbar is the web image section. So if you click on that, you'll see a image search. So 
I'm really in the mood for some hot chocolate right now, so I am going to search for pictures of hot chocolate. So once I search, you can see that it brings up a Bing search uh, for images, so I can scroll through and see which ones I like. This one here looks pretty delicious, so I'm going to click on that one. You can also add GIFs. So again, if you search, you can click on it. Of course, I'm going to add cats because who doesn't love cats? And just like with the pictures from your photo gallery, you can resize, you can tilt, you can move them around wherever you would like. Next up is Doodle. So if you click on that, it allows you to doodle right on the pic collage. So as you see, there's a whole array of colors. There's also a uh, little bar on the bottom. You can change the thickness of the pen. So I'm going to choose the black ink for right now. And then I am going to start using my hand to draw. Now, sometimes it's a little difficult to read if you're trying to write words. If you make a mistake all the way to the left, you can see there is... Um, oh, there's that scroll bar that you can see, you can change the size. All the way to the left, there's a little eraser. You can erase what you don't want, and then you can go back in and try again. I'm going to try to be a little neater this time, especially with that A. All right. So you can write letters or uh, write words. You can underline things. You can draw lines. You can draw arrows. Yep, so if I really wanted to point to that avatar book, I could draw a little arrow right there. You can make a little smiley face. This tool really lets you customize what you want to say. And I was going to put an exclamation mark there, but uh, the toolbar got in the way a little bit, so maybe don't go too close to the bottom. When you're finished, go up to the top right and click the check mark, and that finishes the doodle. If you want to go back into something, you can double click on it, and it opens up a menu. Last thing, animation. If you want to, you can add animations. They have center, 3D, drop, wiggle, spread, pulse, etc. This makes the items in your pick collage move and it will turn your final product into a little video to include that animation. Uh, however, if you're trying to send it as a still frame, uh, it won't include the animation, obviously. When you have completely finished and you're ready to send it, you click Done. You can click Save to Library and that will actually uh, save it to your camera roll. which I'll show you momentarily. Or you can try to click the copy link. I was having issues with that. Um, it was taking a really long time. And again, it says this animated collage can only be shared as a still image. So if you copy the link, it won't give you that animation. So my recommendation is to save it to the library and then upload it to Schoology or however your teacher would like you to send it to them. Otherwise, you might be waiting here for a very long time. And just to show you really quick, if you uh, click the home button and then go into your photos, you'll see there is a new folder called Pick Collage. And if you click on that, you can open it up and you'll see there is your little um, Pick Collage. Now, mine is animated because that little cat gif moves around. Um, but if yours is a still frame, it may, will probably just be a picture. Now, again, at this point, you can share it uh, however your teacher wants it shared. Or you can take a look, and it will be in your camera roll as well, either as a little video if you have something animated or as a just a picture. 